But who would take your phone and send me those sort of hurtful texts? Who else do you think? Nichelle? Yvette Mitchell's testimony lines up with the evidence which was found. Owen Grant? If you want to have a successful future in this town, then I strongly suggest you drop those charges against my son. I think Max would be the one going crazy. From what I saw, the picture is in my favor. It's actually physical proof that could help Max pay for what he did to me. I'm still going to have to be 100% sure that Esador had no idea of Elvira's knowledge about the two of them. Now I can have a serious chat with my dear uncle. Ulyssa, is everything okay? No, Nichelle, it isn't. What did you do to my sister this time, Vanessa? What did I do? Vanessa didn't do anything, Nichelle. The two of us are friends again. What? Ulyssa, you can't let her back into your life. Not after the way she treated you. Don't you mean the way that you treated me? JJ, I heard that you were back home. Are you okay? Maybe I'd be doing much better if you left Yvette alone. Thank you for meeting us here, Mr. Grant. You're welcome, Mr. Mitchell. Mrs. Mitchell, it's nice to meet you. First, we just want to thank you for taking our daughter's case. We know how much of a risk it was for you to press charges against Max Russo. Benedict, I'm really impressed by the setup of your PI firm. It's very cozy. I didn't call you here to get complimented by Utsio. That's when you were supposed to say thank you. It would be appreciated. It would also have been appreciated if you were honest about how Beast Nono, Dante, really passed away all those years ago. Ulyssa, what are you even talking about? Don't try to talk to me like I'm stupid. I'm not. Then just be honest with your sister. A few months ago, I got text messages from Ulyssa's phone telling me to stay away. The weird thing is that when Ulyssa and I spoke about it, those texts weren't on her phone, but they were still on mine. Then it made me wonder who had the chance to take my phone and text Vanessa that sort of message, then delete them. Most of all, I thought about who would gain something from my friendship with Vanessa ending. That led me back to you, Nichelle. I want the truth, and I want it now. Of course. Since Vanessa thinks I'm guilty, you think that I'm guilty too. Can you blame me? With your track record, it makes it hard to take your side, Max. What track record? You constantly going after my sister when she told you multiple times to leave her alone. Why is everyone forgetting the fact that I apologized and eventually left Vanessa alone? Would you have left her alone if my dad didn't confront you about it? Making sure that your daughter and girls like your daughter get justice is worth the risk. It really shouldn't be a risk. But I'm glad that someone like you works in the DA's office. To be fair, it does make sense if D.A. Russo decides to put a target on my back. I am going after her youngest son, after all. Well, she needs to accept the fact that her baby boy is far from innocent. Since Heidi is district attorney, is there any way that she can make sure that we don't have to wait a few years until we can take this case to trial? Your bees no-no passed away of a heart attack. Stop it, Esador. We both know there's more to it much more. Why are you acting like there was some sort of conspiracy? Where's this coming from? Elvira's diary. What? Zio, for as long as I've been alive, I've never seen you shook like this. That must mean that this is something you can't lie your way out of. Don't even try to act like you don't know where I got this diary from. We both know that Terry Burke held onto it for all these years. Where's the diary, Benedict? You're in no position to make any demands. How long did you plan on keeping this a secret? 
Were you really willing to let Nono go to his grave without knowing the truth of what happened to his father? So all of a sudden you care about your Nono? If you really care that much, then you'll keep it to yourself so that you can keep your Nono from entering an early grave. Fine. So you'll admit it? Yes. When you left the room, I noticed your phone was still there and unlocked it to make sure that you and Vanessa weren't friends anymore. Nichelle, you are something else. All of the months wasted and I could have still been friends with you, Lissa? Don't act like your friendship would have done her any favors. I never once lied to her. Most of all, I never once told her that someone she cared about didn't care about her. Don't you understand how manipulative that is? And you don't think that you've been manipulative? Do you understand what my sister has gone through? Did Ulyssa tell you that she's been forcing herself to throw up every single thing she digested? Nichelle, what? And you don't think that telling her she would be on her way to hell would mess with her head? Nichelle, stop it. I already told you that Vanessa was only sharing her faith, sharing her truth. On top of that, I've been having issues before I even met Vanessa. And being friends with her will only cause the issues to get worse. Ulyssa, I'm trying to protect you. Forget this. I'm out of here. We're not done yet. What else could you possibly have to say to me, JJ? I want to make sure that you don't keep on harassing Yvette. Let me say this to you once. I never forced myself on Yvette, and I never harassed her. That photo that's been going around the internet tells a different story. You're right. It does tell a different story. It tells a false story. Besides, I never knew that you and Yvette were such good friends. I wouldn't say that we're close friends, but I'm beginning to consider her to be a friend. As her friend, I believe her and I'll look out for her. I might be on meds, but they certainly work. And I know that I'm not crazy when I tell you that I saw how angry you looked in that photo. I'm going to work hard to make sure that the trial takes place early next year. Good. The last thing we need is Harley Drake perfecting some sort of legal plan to get Max Russo out of this. Speaking of Harley Drake, are you aware of her reputation, Mr. Grant? I am. I know how brutal she can be in the courtroom, but I can be just as brutal, Mr. Mitchell. I won't be intimidated by her. My main concern isn't Harley winning. What I'm concerned about is Heidi doing whatever she can to make sure that her son doesn't face the consequences of his actions. How stupid do you think I am? You're not concerned about No-No going into an early grave. What you're worried about is him finding out that you knew what Terry did all those years ago and not appointing you as the next CEO of Russo Jewelers. Even back then, you didn't want Elvira to expose the truth just so you could use Terry for your own personal gain. For some reason, she decided to keep quiet about your one night stand with Isabel Torres. Isabel? Elvira knew about Isabel? So you didn't know that Elvira found out? No! She wrote about that in her diary too? What other secrets does she have written inside, Benedict? That's for me to know, Esidor. I find it interesting that you're not asking me to keep quiet. Maybe it was easier for you to keep Elvira quiet since she was younger. Am I right? Did you intimidate Elvira so much that she wasn't even brave enough to tell you that she knew about you and Isabel? Vanessa, can you leave me alone with my sister? Of course. How could you just tell Vanessa my issues like that? Ulyssa, I didn't mean to do that. I was just angry. But you meant to make her think that I didn't want to be friends with her. You meant to make me think that she didn't want to be friends with me for months. I'm sorry that I hurt you. I really am. But my only concern was making sure that I protected you. There was nothing to protect me from, Nichelle. Oh, really? If I didn't tell mom and dad that you had an eating disorder, then you would be in a terrible condition. That's what you're going to do? Get caught in a lie and throw my issues in my face? You know that's not what I'm trying to do. Actions speak louder than words. I don't need your protection. Most of all, I don't trust you. And knowing that you lied to me all this time, I'm not sure if I can ever trust you again. This conversation is pointless, JJ. There's no convincing you that I'm innocent. 
All I can tell you is to watch your back when it comes to Yvette. I wouldn't be concerned about Heidi. If something goes wrong with the trial, then it will be obvious that she played a hand in it. Wanda, I told you that you don't have to worry. Yvette's case is in very good hands. What will it take for you to be quiet? Leave Max alone. What does Maximilian have to do with any of this? He told me that you approached him about that bug in your room. You? You had my room bugged? Don't you realize that you gave the Mitchells an advantage? The same people who are going after your brother? How would your parents feel about that? And how would your parents feel about everything I know about you? Leave Max alone, keep your mouth shut, and I'll keep my mouth shut. If Elvira can look at you now, you might remember her as some sort of angel, but she was just as screwed up as everyone else around here. She saw herself as some sort of heroine when she held power over the secrets that others kept. Elvira used to look down at our family's methods. Look at you, Benedict. Here you are making those same methods. If Elvira saw how you turned out, she would have turned her back on you too.